You think you got killed? Ugh. You think you got killed on our property? Yeah. It's disgusting. I just made everything stop working because I flushed the toilet and I turned on the air conditioner at the same time. And apparently you can't do that. No. So what if I have to go to the bathroom and I'm also hot? I fixed that problem just now. That's what I did. All right, it looks like we got a new leak this season. We got the first heavy rain this year and I wasn't prepared. I wanted to get around to sealing this, um, but some circumstances didn't allow it. So I'm using the trash bin and my two water buckets for the same locations here. I think what I'm gonna do is just order a new skylight in there and I'm gonna order a new fan in here because I believe it's leaking from that crack right there, just wide open. So I think I'm just gonna get a whole new fan and a new skylight. Looks like a bird or a turkey got hunted down. Looks like it was a, a struggle pretty far over here. Right. All the way over there. All right, I just came up here after work. We had a huge rainstorm and I was afraid that something was gonna leak, but I replaced this fan and the floor is dry. And I replaced this skylight. All right, I just got this new uh, skylight cover and I'm gonna put it on the bathroom because that one's cracked and leaking. And everything in here appears to be dry. So, I think it worked. I, uh, when I resealed them last time, they were just cracked, so they needed to be replaced. That's why I never try to do it cheap, but it's fixed. It's been a while since we've both had a weekend off together and we are coming into the cold season again. So, Obviously, we're not ready. We have to reorganize our clothes because we're still in between, you know, being able to live full time at the land. Still a lot to do before we can do that. But Kirk started working, so we need to get his clothes in order. I need to make space for him in the closet. And then we have to go to the land and organize up there. Luckily, Kirk got the leak to stop in the roof on the RV because it has rained this week so that is taken care of but we still have a couple other things to do to get ready that reminds me to always replace the component and not just take it off and put it back on what for like the roof 
Yeah, because usually I always replace it, but in this you didn't. <laughs> instance, the one time, the two things that I try to reseal, they themselves cracked to oblivion. <laughs> you that, knew better. So the seal sealed properly, but the plastic was deteriorated to the point where it just broke apart. But you fixed it. It's fixed. Ordered a new skylight, it's fixed, so... Today is just the day that I love the most. Cleaning! I love cleaning. And that's what we're gonna do. Yep. Kirk and I share this little closet, and he built this nice storage unit for us, but we still have overpacked it. You can see we're doing a great job at keeping our stuff contained. So I'm dealing with this right now. And we're not this sloppy. I did pull a lot of stuff out so I could fold it, but we do have some work to do on organizing. So I just said we weren't that messy. I was like, we're not that messy. I pulled all this stuff out, but this is all the stuff I pulled out that was not hung up, not in drawers, nothing. How drawers. proud are you of us? The drawers are full. And the drawers are full. So, drawers are full. Bed is full of stuff that was not in drawers or hung. And now we have to find a place to put all of it. But look at how much hanging space we have. That's good. There was once a day that I would pray for you. I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too. Sneaking looks up and down from across the room. And damn, what a hell of a view. I feel good. You look great. I like you. I really feel like I'm better at you than staying clean. I really do, like, my stuff is on the floor, but it, it's like, that's it. Your stuff is, like, hidden in secret cubbies all around the room. So catch me if I These are dress socks. <laughs> I hope you wear this to work one day. Just flex on people. I feel like we've downsized so many times and every time we do it seems like we've just blown up our space again and I don't know how I don't know how we do it but we manage to end up with more and more boxes to be packed put in the garage or brought to the RV every single time we declutter it's incredible Living life every day, late at night, not okay. All I want 
and I pray All I need are some better days I'm looking in the mirror, so foggy But I've never seen clearer I don't really think anyone can save me And honestly, I'm not really sure I want saving I like to be my own worst enemy There's no risk if you don't try at anything So I'ma just get by in everything See you in the next life, have to be a better me I don't think that my head's on straight Gotta flip it and grip it and go and get an x-ray What's wrong with me? I just feel way Pushing on my chest and it squeezed till I suffocate Better change my mindset, meditate It's pretty cool that I'm alive and have better days I could walk, see, here, I should celebrate Think I could change my mind, maybe elevate Living life every day our grass is still there. Hasn't blown away. Solid. I'm kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place. Do I work hard or live in my pace? You're only young once. Yeah, that's all great. But you see the turkey feathers? Oh, there's so many. And they're down there. It looks like he was running away. Oh, uh, you think you got. Uh, yeah. You think you got killed? Uh, you think you got killed on our property? Yeah. <laughs> I think there was a struggle. No. And then over there, the. Oh. So maybe it wasn't. Maybe it didn't run. Maybe it just blew separate. Someone told me that mountain lions didn't eat turkeys. Yeah, coyote. Coyotes eat turkeys. That nobody liked turkeys, they're so dry. All that, all that, all that. Definitely started up here. Oh, yuck. I don't want them to do this anymore. Basically started right here, it looks like. You don't have to give me the whole drama. I mean, the turkey feathers are pretty, but it doesn't mean that I approve of murder on our land. It's disgusting. I was also under the impression that we were here to just drop off our clothes and organize, but in true Kirk fashion, he has found something to fix. So, I think it's my fault because last time I broke our breaker, or circuit or I just made everything stop working because I flushed the toilet and I turned on the air conditioner at the same time and apparently you can't do that because they shared a leg and you only have two legs and one leg can only have so much power or something so he's fixing that putting them splitting legs all right I just turned off the power and what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace this 2020 breaker um, and I'm gonna put a 2015 here and a 2015 here. The problem is uh, the inverter uh, can do about 25 amps on each leg, so 6,000 watts. Uh, but here we have the incinerator toilet running 20 amps plus the air conditioner running 20 amps. So on the same phase, that's uh, over our 25 amps. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put 20 amp breaker here and a 20 amp breaker here so that this leg and this leg are separated with the incinerator toilet so that's what i'm gonna do and this is what they look like 15 20 and that's what we're gonna do is that this something that takes a long time it shouldn't take long so while he's doing that i'm just gonna start putting some of our clothes away All right, I'm gonna flip these breakers on one by one and just check that they're on the correct circuit. I relabeled them. I moved the toilet over here with the refrigerator. So we have one resistive load and one inductive load. And then I moved the water heater on this side. So we have the resistive heat load and the air conditioner is the inductive load. 
All right, I'm gonna check the toilet, so it's off now. Turn the main breaker on, and that light's on. Flip that toilet one off. 20? Yep. The other way? Yep. Yep, so that works. So the refrigerator's off, and I'm gonna turn the refrigerator on. And now it's on, so that works. So the problem you ran into when you had the toilet and the air conditioning running didn't blow here because I had 20 amps on this leg. I had 20 amps here and 20 amps here. The air conditioner was drawing less than 20 amps and the toilet was drawing less than 20 amps, but the sum of them on one leg was more than the 25 amps that the inverter does. So the circuit breaker that blew was out on the trailer. So, Here, I will show you where it's at just in case it happens. So I blew, I blew something I couldn't have fixed from the RV. No, so let me show you where it's at. Where the thing I blew was? Yes. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Is everybody in the world blind? Please Lord. The other place that the circuit breaker could pop, which is high... Was it where I did pop it? No, oh. this is another spot. This is highly unlikely, but this is at the main panel. And that circuit breaker, that 50 amp, could pop. The only time that would really happen is if there was a short on this cable between here and there. The place that it actually popped... The place that I, that I popped it? Wow, this looks gnarly yeah. what is that I think it was a fiberglass resin that they used to try to seal it and it obviously came off obviously which gets us in here oh look at those new batteries but the thing that popped was this circuit breaker right here so this is one leg and this is the other leg so that's why Half of the RV was working, the other half wasn't, because one of the legs was overloaded on this, meaning one of these, this black wire is one leg, and this red wire is one leg, and this white wire is the neutral. So there was too much amperage on one of these lines, to which point this inverter circuit breaker popped here. If that happens and everything turns off, and I come out here and one of those is popped out, I push it back in. That's correct. I'm gonna do that next time, folks. And if it breaks and I break something, he's told me to do it. Well, whatever overloaded it, don't do it again. But it should well, be fine I, now. So what if I have to go to the bathroom and I'm also hot? I fixed that problem just now, that's what I did. It shouldn't happen, but if you, here's an instance where it would happen, if you had, a hot day where you had to go to the bathroom. Yeah, or if you're incinerating and in the winter, you're trying to run the space heater, which would act exactly like the toilet, but, so, you're running, but now you're running it on the same leg as the toilet. <laughs> so, so you plug it into the wall and it's on one of the same legs of the toilet, then that can happen. So if I flush and I want to also be temperature comfortable, I have to choose. Well, you either have to turn on the main heating for the whole RV, which will use propane and a little bit of electricity, which would be fine. You're not going to overload anything. But if you're going to use the, the power in here... I can't plug anything in and flush and space heat. I'll let you know which places you can plug in. Okay. There's but I can do what I did before. I can put on the main heat, air and flush now. Yeah, or oh, okay. the main heat. Okay, okay, so I'm good. I can temperature regulate and flush. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so I turn the solar panels off and you can see 2,800 watts. So one leg is 3,000 watts max and the other leg is 3,000 watts. So with the water heater and the AC going, which are the two highest loads, were right at the capacity. So now, if you plugged in that space heater over there, 
on this line, you would trip the inverter. Make sense? Because we're at capacity. We can't go another 1500 watts. We finished up for the day after eating. We sat and watched our new TV, and it's dark now, so we gotta go home. Yeah, time change. <laughs> yep. Bye. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And join us on Patreon. Was out on the trailer. <laughs> Which, which footage are you going to use? <laughs> okay, so the place that I <laughs> did do it, I almost fell. Oop. And then if you're sucking hot air out here, meaning if you're exhausting it, then it's going to pull that cold air this direction. Okay. That's how you create the convection. I was trying to think of a joke about being how exhausting that must be. <laughs> but this could be bad because these lithium batteries don't like to be fully drained. So, so yeah, this is not good at all. All right, putting that thing on. I topped my knuckle off, so I gotta uh, cover it up. With the death fluid here is pretty poisonous.